Hey guys, it's Jordan. So I decided to do a little bit more vlogging today. I have no idea if I'm going to even keep this footage or what I'm going to do with it. Um, I just redid my eyebrows the day before yesterday, and they look fine on camera, I feel like, but they look a little bit too brown, too dark for my hair color. But they looked too red before, and now I'm like, I don't know. And also, Invisalign update, I went to get a scan for my refinements, and so... The, my refinements, it's like you do your first like 50 trays or however many they set you out to do and then you have to do like refinements as they do like little tweaking things so I have to wear these aligners for a couple more weeks until my next appointment and then I'm going to be doing refinements but I have one elastic so far and he said he's going to attach another elastic that's like connected to these two teeth so that they occlude, is that the word? I don't know, but basically so that the roots tip towards each other. And then he said I have to wear another elastic that's going to bring this tooth down here. And it's going to be another elastic that's attached like three ways. So that's going to be interesting. Anyways, I'm just going to head across the street to go get a coffee from McDonald's. I don't normally go get a coffee in the morning or even really go anywhere first thing in the morning. I usually just like work on YouTube. But... Because my landlord is coming over to pick up some money, I have to go get change because I'm like, don't have the right amount of money. So there's a McDonald's across the street and I'm gonna go get a coffee so that I can exchange this $10 bill and um, I'll see you guys in a second. Can you hear all the birds? Okay, so also, oh my God, the birds. Comment down below if any of you guys are Canadian because I went to the store the other day and I was going to run an errand for my roommate and she gave me a $10 bill. This is what the $10 bills currently look like in Canada. And I gave the guy one of like these paper purple $10 bills and he's like, I don't know if this is you or not and if this was intentional, but that's counterfeit and I can't take it. And I was like, um, okay. And I worked in customer service since I was like 14 and I've always lived in Canada. So I know what a counterfeit bill looks like. And then I was like, mind telling me why you thought it was um, counterfeit? Just curious. And he's like, well, it didn't have that silver stripe. And it's literally, it wasn't even this bill at all. It was literally a paper bill from 2001. And I was like, um, it's not supposed to have a stripe. It's not even supposed to look anything like this. So that was interesting. But usually when you're in customer service and that happens, you don't accuse the person of counterfeiting the bill. So that was a little bit tacky. Um, usually you're just supposed to tell them, I cannot accept this bill. <laughs> Give them a nice big customer service smile. Golden arches. Golden arches. Thank you. All right, so I'm back from the golden arches. I got my bean juice. Honestly, my phone does this thing where it just dies every single time that I take it out when I'm outside. And it says it's at 30%, but that's what just what happened. It just died as soon as I took it outside again. And like, I'm surprised it actually filmed for a minute. Like it usually dies as soon as I take it out. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's not even cold here. Like it's actually a really nice day. There's no snow or anything. I live in Vancouver, so it doesn't really get that cold in the winter. Anyways, so I got a coffee. I've actually, quit drinking coffee, so this is gonna be interesting. So I actually was super dependent on coffee for the longest time, so then I cut back as much as I could and then I eventually quit drinking coffee every day. And because I'm super caffeine sensitive, like one coffee like this would literally like kill me, but I just needed change, so I went and got this one coffee for a dollar. Honestly, some people are just super caffeine sensitive. I am one of those people. It triggers my anxiety to be through the roof. It triggers panic attacks in me, which is no good. And also my asthma breathing. It's just the absolute worst. But it also like totally curbs my appetite, which is really, really bad because I'm somebody that already has to do mechanical eating because I was malnourished until I was about 12 years old. A lot of you guys know that I grew up with somebody that was mentally ill and just couldn't really take care of children to their best abilities, so I was left to fend for myself. I didn't ever have like a lunch growing up until like sixth grade. Like I was very, very malnourished as a child. And so my hunger and like full responses are really not that good. And it's something that I've been working on my entire life. So I never like intentionally will go out of my way and drink a bunch of caffeine anymore because I know that it will literally be like impossible to eat for the rest of the day, so gonna have a couple sips of this and then I will probably put it aside but just in case you're wondering why I got a large they said all coffees were a dollar so like why not anyways 
Um, yeah, my landlord should be here in a little bit. Uh, I might go through some meal prep and like my skincare routine and stuff today on this vlog. Who knows? But um, yeah, right now I'm just watching this like podcast. Podcast while I wait for my landlord to come. It's called Too Tired to Be Crazy. This one's with Gabriel Zamora and the channel is actually called Violet Benson. I'd never heard of her before, but I'm definitely going to subscribe and yeah, make sure to go check out her channel as well. She literally begs for attention and she runs away. Look at your big belly. Look at your big belly. Look at your big belly. Like your sister. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Hi, everyone. It's such an big belly. Are you my big belly girl? Lately, I've been obsessed with these three channels. Abby Sharp, she's like a dietitian and she does basically like going through other YouTubers like diets and stuff and what I eat in a day and she like breaks them all down and tells you what's healthy and stuff and then I've been watching the unnatural vegan and she like responds and reacts to a bunch of other dietitians and stuff on YouTube and um, I love her channel as well and then I've also been like binge watching Dr. Dre I could be wrong because I don't watch a ton of other dermatologists but to me she's like one of the most educated and informative dermatology channels here on YouTube so I've been watching a lot of her videos lately Okay, so I was just watching a video by Hiram. I was about to call him Hiram Lodge, but he's like a skincare specialist here on YouTube. You guys should check him out. And I was eating some of my favorite guilty pleasure. I just finished whatever was left in this bag of Sweet Chili Heat Doritos. If you guys like Sweet Chili Heat Doritos, let me know down in the comments below. They're honestly like my one guilty pleasure. I don't get them that often, but when I do, I literally like, ah, uh, I live. Okay, but here's my problem. I'm not like super sensitive to spice. No, that was, I just lied. Okay, so I'm super sensitive to spice, but like, I don't, how do I put this? Like when I'm eating something spicy, it doesn't taste super spicy to me. Like I can handle a lot of spice. But my literal body just like lights on fire like I could have two Doritos and then my face just like starts sweating I'm like dying, but I need to like eat the rest of the bag and I'm like what is going on? Yeah It's good. It's good and fresh and also fun. Let me know if any of you guys have that as well I think that it's like a sensitivity to the actual spice I probably shouldn't be eating a lot of spicy stuff if my body reacts that way, but like YOLO Wow, this lighting though, my eyes look so bright. Okay, so also I was thinking yesterday, <laughs> see what happens when I drink coffee. I've literally drank like this much out of that coffee. But, okay, so I was thinking of two videos that I might film for my channel and they were going to be how to be on a CW show like Riverdale or like any of the CW shows that are here, like The Flash or like, you know, all of that lovely stuff. Or I was also thinking about making another video that was how to be on a Disney movie like Descendants. And so I've been working in film for like years and years and years and years and years, but I have so much information that I could share with you guys like on how to be a background extra, how to be a background performer, how you could get into like a film crew, or how to be an actual actor, how to get auditions and all of that stuff. So I'm wondering if like, if any of you guys would actually want me to make those videos, because if you would like me, what is going on with my hair? Ugh, this tomato. Okay, I was thinking if any of you guys actually want me to make those videos, I definitely would love to blabber on and on and on about like how to get a job in show business, but like most specifically, I've been on Riverdale and I've been in Disney movies and like Hallmark movies and all that stuff. So I wanted to let you guys know like how to actually do it because I find that everyone like back in my hometown um, is like so enamored. They're like, wow, you've been in a movie? Whereas like my biggest accomplishments to me were like my stage roles because I rehearsed them for like months and months and months and months and months and like movie parts or like TV roles that might have been just like for a day and there was no rehearsing or anything. But like, I know that it seems more glamorous to the outside world. So people are always more fascinated about film. But the point is that it's not actually that hard to get into film work and like literally pretty much anyone could be at least a background performer or a background extra on a TV show if they really wanted to. And like most of the people that are in background aren't even necessarily actors. They're just people that want to do it or they're like parents are working in film or like they just wanted to be on a TV show for a day. So like it's definitely super doable for anybody that wants to try it out. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to make a video about all that. My landlord just came and collected some money for rent, but like, 
she's going through Invisalign as well. So every single time um, she, <laughs> every single time I open the door to let her in, she like immediately stares at my teeth and she's like, you're not wearing your aligners. And I was like, yeah. I took them out to drink this coffee, which again, still only a third of the way done. I look so scurvy and ratchet having red hair with, I thought I dropped my coffee. Having red hair with like this dark facial hair and neck beard, it just really doesn't go together. But I absolutely love this red hair. And also on set, like I was on set the other day, I can't tell you what it was for, but um, they literally pulled me into the center of the scene and they're like, it's because of your red hair. And then the director was like, oh my God, Archie, I love you on Riverdale. <laughs> kind of like, oh my God, Danny DeVito, I love your work. But <laughs> for Mean Girls, um, it was so funny. And the director of photography as well, she was like, pulled me aside because of my hair color and was like, I'm going to put you into this scene. And I was like, okay, maybe red hair was the best idea for film work. But like, yeah, I don't know if it goes with my dark brown facial hair because y'all, I ain't no real ginger. Every single day and every single month. Yeah, Most of these Tyra, I used work. For a good month or two months. And then I put them to the side. He lives in Hawaii. I'm long. so jealous. And in the future, I'm so pretty, Lexus. Mmm. Hey, guys. Are you my big, big, big? Are you my big, big, big? Hey. Are you big? Hello. Are you my beautiful ladies? Are you beautiful ladies? Mm. My gorgeous ladies. Azura. Azura. Oh, look how cute you are. Oh, my beautiful girls. I'm feeling super lightheaded, which is probably a good sign that I should probably not be drinking coffee again, but we already knew that. Anyways, I am just going to head over to the grocery store now because I need to get like a couple things and maybe some spaghetti sauce and stuff because... I got some stuff to make spaghetti, but didn't get any new sauce, and I didn't realize that the sauce that's in the cupboard is my roommate's, and it's literally been expired by like a year, so that's good and fresh and fun. Not gonna be eating that because hashtag botulism. Anyways, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing with my channel going forward. None of my last six videos have even reached like the thousand view threshold, so... I have no idea what's going on, but nobody's really watching my channel at the moment, so I have no idea what to be posting or what you guys want to see. Who freaking knows? So that's how perfect is this one little itsy bitsy piece of hair? Boop. Hey guys, it's Jordan, and welcome back to my kitchen. So, so today's dinner is in fact not vegan, but I have some spaghetti bolognese sauce, that is what this is going to be, and then I'm going to be using this Classico four cheese sauce, this is on sale, and then I have some capellini in here, which is almost done. Basically capellini is just like really thin spaghetti, so I love that. And I've got to admit, I'm a little bit sketched out about baking this right in the oven with the paper, but I'm just following the directions. <laughs> so this is the beautiful garlic bread. Sauce is basically done. Oh my god, I forgot about the garlic bread. It's still in the oven. Alright, so luckily nothing was burnt, but I grabbed myself some garlic bread. Okay, but speaking of murder, this laundry room is in the very basement of my apartment and it is really freaking creepy and if there was anywhere that somebody would get murdered in this apartment, it would be right there, so let's go.
All right, so we are in the laundry room, and I told you it looks like somebody would get murdered down here. So, is... oh yes, the washer is always free when I come down here, and we literally have one washer and dryer for the entire building. So that is just great luck. If... Make sure to recycle these if you use them. Sound sounds like a horror movie. Murder. Oh my god, I just found this. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance. Or Bill Whalen, Riverdance. Wrong cover, not Glenn Miller. Okay. Have any of you guys tried these, like, Maynard Sour Patch Kids mangoes? It's like a fuzzy peach, but it's a mango. They're so freaking good. Mm. Right the so now I'm just having some of these mangoes and a glass of water and watching the Wendy show. <laughs> All right, well, it is the next morning. I just woke up having some tea. Folded my laundry and posted a video on my YouTube channel on um, it was a compilation that Lifetime posted with Kendall and Jill so that is up now I'm just going to have some food because I'm starving and then I'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine like promised and I think that'll be the end of this video All right, welcome to the bathroom. So first things first, I like to shave my face recently using this Edge Hydro 5 Cents Chic Razor Cream, extra protection for sensitive skin. And then I've been using this um, five blade Bic razor. I'm not sure what this one is called. It has like a little silver ball on there if you're looking for this in the store. I personally love five blade razors. I know lots of people say that like the one blade is actually the best, but for me, never. That would rip my face in two. Or 20. Or a million pieces. This razor also has like a one individual blade in the back if you want to do like precision work. And then lately, I've been washing my face using this Olay Regenerous Cleansing Light as Air Polishing Cream Cleanser Whip.
I normally just wash my face with this in the shower, but for the sake of today's video. Next, I have this Neutrogena alcohol-free toner, and I'm going to be using that on a cotton swab. Oops. All right, so now that the toner is all dry, my face is ready to be moistened. And I'm going to be putting on this Hawaiian Tropics sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen. The medicinal ingredients are octocrylene, 5%, oxybenzone, 3%, and avabenzone. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, avabenzone, 2%. So this is... 30 SPF, 12 hour wear. You're supposed to apply sunscreen and then reapply before you go into the sun. And I like to bring it all the way down my collarbones and onto my shoulders and don't forget the neck and the back of the ears. Dermatologists say that those are super prone to skin cancer. Fun fact. And then once my sunscreen is dry, the lotion or face cream that I've been using lately is this Nivea Essentials. It comes in a little container like this. And the active ingredients in this are octocrylene, 3%, avobenzone again, 2%, and insulizoil, 2%. Not sure how to say that. And it comes in a little box like this. And this is SPF 15. And it's just a super nice light white cream. And then I just dot that all over my face. Probably used a little bit too much, but is there ever such thing as too much moisturizer? And then I just pop my earrings back in. And that is it for my current skincare routine. All right, well, I'm gonna finish off this video there. I hope you guys liked my daily vlog type thing. And um, if you guys want to see those videos on how to be on a CW show or how to be in a Disney movie, let me know down in the comments below and I will definitely make those for you guys as well. And, um, yeah, as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly, and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye.